Today, we're going to talk about automation on Reverb and why you should automate your Reverb. Adding Reverb can create some depth and wideness to your track. If you want to take your Reverb to the next level, you should automate your Reverb to really get some more excitement and really increase the depth of your track. So let me show you how I do it. So by automating your reverb, you can actually kind of, what you're doing is that you're increasing the signal of the reverb um, in specific places. So this is a great way to make, in this case, the vocals a bit more powerful and a bit more interesting and kind of add some dynamics to, to the reverb. So what I've done here is that I've created an aux track right here. So as you can see, I put a uh, space design designer. So let me show you a before and after example. Take a listen to this vocal track that I have. It's uh, it's a rap song and um, without the automation on, there's still reverb here, but there's no automation. Open the fence, I'm that. Too many thoughts got manage, all right, hold on baggage. Might get clocked with a package. If so, run down the nearest passage. Run down the nearest back street. Man, come catch me. Come like you saying. And with the automation. Open the fence, I'm boot that. Too many thoughts got manage, all right, hold on baggage. Might get clocked with a package. If so, can you hear that? Can you hear that uh, the vocals? sounds has a bit more ambience in it for like a second this is what actually goes on as you can see i put automation on around four different places here um, so this is simply like an increase of of the reverb signal right here so the reverb will be a lot more noticeable so this is a great technique that you can apply to make the reverb sound a bit more alive and a bit more exciting. And if you're a beginner when it comes to automation, I definitely suggest learning more about this because you can not only apply it in this context, like on a vocal and kind of adjusting the reverb, but you can also, but you can also put automation on panning and volume, things like that. So it can be really useful to learn automation and kind of tweak around and modify, modify the signal and being able to get some more excitement to your track. I might do a video in the future where I cover automation when it comes to panning and things like that because it can be really useful and a bit tricky to understand, especially if you're a beginner. Let me show you another example where I put automation. Told him a thousand times, tell him again, bitch I'm a demon Super on leader, I'm lagging, bringing that bagging, more than it fattened Up at the block and I'm scanning, deep for planning, man So you can see right here that there's an increase of the reverb signal and it just gives some more punch in the actual reverb and gives some more ambience to it. So try to experiment with automation and uh, try to increase the reverb signal. Sometimes you can reduce the reverb signal even if you feel like you have maybe a verse that is uh, that needs to be a bit more dry and you want to add some more wideness and thickness in the chorus. You could automate the reverb and increase the reverb signal in the chorus. Thanks for watching the video guys. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming mixing tutorials. See you in the next video.